You know what? I didn't have any breakfast this morning. I'm starving. Sorry? No, I mean that we could, uh, we could go out to lunch now. On the company. And, you know, it would, uh, we, we would work there. Be like a... a working lunch, but, um... Mm. where we take our most important clients. Yeah, it's, it's a little fancy, but uh, good food. The, um, they have a fish special every day that's not on the menu. You like fish? No. No? I thought, um, isn't fishing like a big deal on Martha's Vineyard? Yes, it is. Yeah, with the whaling and... It's Nantucket. Right, because that's the main... <clears throat> you know, they make guacamole right at the table. Really? Yeah, they uh, bring over the avocados and then they mush them up and, um, you know, they just put the rest of the stuff in and, um, well, then they light it. Yeah, it's their specialty here. Flaming guacamole. Personally, I like the fish better. Well, it's a small town about 50 miles outside of Raleigh. Tobacco country. It's got one main road, one school. Did you smoke? Hmm? Tobacco country. Oh, yeah, well, everybody smoked. Um, my first boyfriend rolled a homemade for me, which he could do with one hand by the time he was 11. He dared me to inhale. I passed out cold. Ran right into a patch of poison sumac. <laughs> oh, boy. I came up with sores that were so bad, I truly believe that I had a visitation from the Lord. No, but I like it here. Well, I do wish that my roommate would get a job in Alaska. And I wish that... The crazy guy would stop following me to work every day. But we had a crazy guy in Bethel, too. Delbert O'Dell. He would always hang out in front of the Ben Franklin. But it was different because when I was younger, I could say, hey, Dell, it's time for you to go home now. And I knew that he wasn't going to rape me or... Del O'Dell? Yeah, older brother of Mel. <laughs> But what about you? I mean, what, uh, when did you have your first cigarette? And do you have a crazy guy in your town? Are those your nicest shoes? Uh, are you, um, married? No. Oh, okay. Um... So, uh, on page 24, 24? yeah, there's a small typo. What did you give me? 
Sleepy time? You give me sleepy time at 10 in the morning? Oh, you know it's coming in today. Bernard Faber. Boy. The amphibians make good pets, guys. Boy. I'm gonna be asleep in the Shut up. I think... I think it's serious. What, you mean with the... Okay. No, it's getting serious. Is that better? Yeah, I didn't mean... Okay, okay. It's moving in the direction of serious. Ah. It's serious. I think he's gonna ask me. You know? Oh, I know. You know? How would you know? All right, I'll take a deep breath, okay? It's an island. Again? Okay. Well, that's a good thing, right? Good thing. The best thing that ever happened to me. Is this this one? Oh. Kid, I think you're gonna live. So who came in today? Uh, Earl was in. Earl? <laughs> what did he have this time? <laughs> he had left side weakness. Uh, Lumbago. Lumbago? Mm -hmm. I won lumbago. Oh. I can't clean your septic system today, Mr. Swartz. My lumbago is acting up. Listen, Matt, I... What? You know, you know that I was, uh, I lived in Boston for like, six years. Right. You going back? No, no. No, not a chance in hell. Just, there were a lot of reasons that I had to leave there, and... One of the reasons... You... you had a heart attack and then your boyfriend left. Oh, no. Yeah, You but, wanted to change, I know. Yeah, but Matt, you don't know why he left me. All right, Ma Michael left me because he wanted to have... is he wanted to have children. And because of my heart disease, pregnancy for me is a risk. And I, I know I should have told you that, and I didn't tell you that because I was afraid to, and... and I'm sorry. How much of a risk? Enough. Okay. And that's just the way it is. You don't care? You don't want kids? Come on, Mr. Open Book. You told me yourself. And then the only thing that you want in this life is to have a family. I want and you. I don't know if I, I want I you more. I want you more. So is that your only problem? Yeah, I guess just, uh... <laughs> one little thing. Okay. Okay. What's that? It's a rock. I don't think it's a rock. No, it's a rock. Look, it's a rock. Look. <laughs> You're right. It is a rock. <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> We're going to Careful, I might have a heart attack. <laughs> this is Vineyard Home Services. Matt isn't here right now, but if you leave a message, he'll get back to you as soon as he can. Thanks. I just... <clears throat> I just wanted to say I'm reading it <laughs>